morning I'd come down and Graham might be standing in the hall swinging his golf club. And he said, wait till I'm a professional golfer, Mum, and I'll just buy you a big house. <laughs> they used to say to his mum, you know, someday I'm going to, I'm going to be a, a professional golfer. Every day we finished school, we were straight down here. Played day it was dark, and home again. And school the next day and straight back down again. Pretty much the way it was from the very start. I just turned 23 and somehow managed to hang on that weekend. I beat Trevor Emelman by a shot and won the Scandinavian Masters. Yeah. Graham McDowell is the winner of the Volvo Scandinavian Masters 2002. It was, uh, it was amazing and it was a, just, just, just a fast start to my career. to win it for the birdie. His third European Tour title. That's it. Well done. Welcome to the 37th Ryder Cup. Well, combined a successful three and a half footer hit. The Europeans will have on their first session. It's a bad. Here's a great practice shot from the men. A fine putt from McDowell. We were out golfed in general. I mean, uh, the quality of golf was just ridiculous. You know, it was just unbelievable standard. And uh, I really enjoyed every second of it. The fans are incredible. He'll be back for more of this. He loved this second shot. That's why. Near perfection. Play the 18th. Very safely. Two putt par. And win number five. Open, it drops and he punches the air. America, your new champion is Major McDowell. I think they'll be watching, there'll be a few pints against us maybe going down. Uh... <laughs> Please welcome the champion of the 110th United States Open, Graham McDowell. Graham McDowell has become the UK's first US Open champion for 40 years. From Port Rush, Northern Ireland, Graham McDowell. Graham McDowell from Northern Ireland. is now the king of American golf. This young man didn't see this win coming. El Norirlandés Graham McDowell. US Open golf champion, Graham McDowell! down to the final nerve jangling match. This is so intense. What a oh, he's holding. Would you believe it? He's holding. Graham McDowell unbeaten on the final day at Celtic Manor to help regain the trophy from the USA. A strong wind blew at Valderrama on the final afternoon of the Andalusia Valderrama Masters, making this challenging course an even tougher test. In the end, the short little putt for bogey was enough to give Graham McDowell a third victory of the season. What a day for Graham McDowell, a winner at Valderrama. A 
Another fantastic shot from Tiger Woods at the last. Graham McDowell trying to force him to make it, looking for birdie of his own, and McDowell makes birdie, and we head for a playoff. McDowell, who was away, had this clutch putt to put pressure on Woods. Oh my goodness, he did it again! Wow! Can Tiger match him? No. The world number two loses Graham McDowell victorious. People know who I am now, and of course, there's a lot more pressure in my life right now. New obstacles, new hurdles, new, new things to deal with. A couple of years from now, this will all feel normal. I'm excited about the future, especially my 2011 schedule and, and what lies beyond. G Mac. Northern Ireland. Grant McDowell. Oh, I love that guy. I think I'd hang out with that guy. G Mac. I think he's going to be a legend. He won the U.S. Open. Look what he did in the Ryder Cup. His clutch out there. Really focused when he plays golf. He has his own style. Brings a cool vibe to the game. There doesn't get any better. I mean, it hits it solid every time. Under the heat of battle, steady. If I want a guy on my team, I want G-Mac. Nice to meet you. How are you? Michael knew nothing. No, he just thought he was coming down to watch the tournament. So he's a little overwhelmed. We're very lucky that we're in a great position to be able to um, give something back to, to kids like Michael. You know, Michael's of a liver transplant, but I mean, he's got a great attitude to life. There you go. Shot. I'm awful left handed. <laughs> Who's your favorite player? You. Oh. So you gotta you got say that because I'm standing there. You know, uh, really puts things in perspective for us. We're very lucky to be playing a game we love, we're very healthy, and uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's a great example to, to how we should be conducting ourselves. Yeah.